time to call your lawyer. We're going to get him on the phone, see if we can't get a question answered. Perhaps the one you submitted. Now, if you'd like to submit a question, because you never know when something's going to come up and you're confused and you're scared, I'm going to tell you how to submit a question in just a moment. First, let me caution you about something. What you're about to hear is just general legal conversation. It should not be taken as specific advice in your specific situation. In order to make sure you get the right advice, you need to sit down with a professional face-to-face and go over the facts of the case. Many attorneys offer a free initial consultation. I know Bruce L. Scheider and Associates certainly do. You might want to take advantage of that. could point you in a very good direction. That would be our hope anyway. We'd also hope that you'd understand that you, before seeing a professional, should not sign any documents, make any statements, or let anybody record any conversations. With that in mind, let's make welcome attorney for the injured, Bruce L. Shiner, and see what he thinks about today's legal brain teaser. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning, Todd. How's this morning treating you? Just fine, and how about you? Oh, I love this time of year. The fresh, crisp southwest Florida weather, it's its wonderful. Yeah, we haven't gotten to that point where the summer heat is starting to come on yet. It'll be here soon enough, though. Uh, like you say, for the moment, though, it feels kind of nice. It, what, it really does. We've got uh, another question. And uh, as always, we're going to ask you, kind of pick your brain about the legalities of the situation. See, you can shed some light on something we've been debating all morning ourselves and we haven't been able to come to any kind of agreement on. So let's see what you have to say. You ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. It says, my daughter was injured while riding on someone's golf cart in the neighborhood. They hit a ditch and the golf cart flipped over. The owner of the golf cart doesn't have insurance on the golf cart and refuses to help pay for my daughter's medical bills. Is there anything I can do to help pay these bills? Golf cart injuries, I know we've covered somewhere my hazy memory, but I don't remember enough about it to to weigh in on this. What do you think? Well, they definitely should be able to make a recovery. First of all, An important legal principle is that a golf cart has been determined by the Florida courts to be a dangerous instrumentality. Okay. And and that's important because the owner of a dangerous instrumentality is liable for any damages caused by that dangerous instrumentality. Mm -hmm. So even if someone else was driving the cart, like the daughter or a friend, the owner is still responsible. Okay. Now, the, the question that we always talk about is, well, where are we going to get money to pay for these injuries? Mm-hmm. And, and the answer is that some insurance policies under your homeowner's coverage cover the golf cart. Okay. Now, in the case that we recently handled, it said that the golf cart was covered if they used the golf carts to help maintain the property. Mm-hmm. So, in other words, if you took out the garbage, if you went around and policed the property. Right. Um, so, sometimes there's a requirement, but that would be the place to look, would be to the owner of the golf cart's homeowner's policy. Okay, and it would be a very specific section of the policy. Like you said, it might come down to the specific use of the golf cart, which in this particular case, uh, that really isn't made plain. So there's a lot to dig into here, in other words. Right, but it's if they use the golf cart to maintain the property, although they don't have to be using the golf cart for that purpose when the accident or injury occurs. I see. So it would be the primary purpose of the golf cart would be to maintain the property. Exactly. Gotcha. Exactly. Oh, so boy, there's a lot involved here, a lot more than any of us guessed, as a matter of fact. So definitely got to sit down in front of a professional, get some one-on-one face-to-face advice on this is what it sounds like to me. That's always a good idea. Okay, let's make sure the daughter's injuries are taken care of appropriately. See a professional. Good advice from Bruce L. Shiner as we get on a weekly basis. I want to thank you once again for weighing in, kind of settling this. Uh, We've had some heated debate this morning, but you managed to settle it for us. Thank you. Well, I'm glad I'm able to do that. And I look forward to talking to you again next week. Okay. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured, and his answer of the week. Now, if you'd like to submit a question for future consideration, it's really not hard to do. Uh, you don't have to go into great detail. Sometimes people feel funny about giving too much personal information. So just tell what you want to tell by going to our website and looking for Bruce L. Shiner on the homepage at kickscountry929.com. Maybe you can't wait for an answer. And sometimes legal cases, legal situations are such that you do need immediate answers. Then call this number. Call the Bruce L. Shiner Port Charlotte office at 941-743-7777. 743-7777. One more time. 941-743-7777. And tell them Todd Matthews sent you from Kicks Country 92.9.